In this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, this time on the leader of the X-Men, Scott Summers, Cyclops. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, we're doing another key comic book spotlight, this time on Scott Summers, aka Cyclops. Now, if you're new to my channel or this series, what I typically do with key comic book spotlight is take a notable superhero or supervillain and just point out five key and or grail comic books that the comic book collecting community often pursues when they're fans of this character. And in this one, we are doing Cyclops. But before I get into the book for today, if you guys could drop me a like or comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, help support the channel, do one of those things, and I would appreciate it. All right, that said, let us get into my picks here today. And of course, I always got to give the disclaimer. Uh, it's always really hard to narrow it down to five books. And in this one, I failed to do so. I had a little bit of a cheat in this one, but you guys, I think, will understand what I'm talking about when I get there. But for starters, we got to start off with Cyclops' first appearance, which is, of course, X-Men number one from 1963, written by Stanley and drawn by Jack Kirby. I mean, what do you got to say about this one? An all-time blue chip. One of the most sought-after comic books in all of comic book collecting. I mean, next to... Amazing Fantasy 15, First Appearance of Spider-Man, it feels like X-Men number one is the number one book on most people's grail list. I mean, think about the brand of X-Men. Think of how popular the cartoon was in the 90s. Think of how popular uh, the X-Men storyline run was uh, all throughout the Chris Claremont years. Ironically, it wasn't very popular when it came out here in 1963 with Stan Lee, but over the years, people would come to fall in love with the X-Men. And of course, that would include Cyclops, who of course is their leader. Now, this is a book that has absolutely exploded over the course of the last year in this new comic book boom. Of course, we all know that Disney acquired Fox Studios, which came with them X-Men and the Fantastic Four and other characters like Silver Surfer. So everybody is super, super excited to have the X-Men back into the MCU. And for that reason, everybody is speculating on X-Men keys. And being that this is the biggest X-Men key of them all, X-Men number one, this is an extremely expensive book, one that everybody wants to get their hands on. And how can you blame them? I mean, first appearance of not only just Cyclops, but first Magneto, first Professor X, first Iceman, Jean Grey, Beast, Angel, all the people you see there on the cover and such an amazing book. But for the sake of our video, this of course is the first appearance of Scott Summer's Cyclops. So anyone who's anyone who wants to collect the Cyclops character, if they want to get the ultimate grail for him, this is the book right here. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see that this is not a cheap book by any means. Here we see a 9.4 last sale in March of 2018, fair market value today, $625,000. I would be really, really interested to see what this book would go for if it were to be sold today in this current market. I do believe that it could hit a million. And then down here at the bottom, go Collect has this around the $7,000, range, and there have been, you know, recent corrections in the comic book market, but typically speaking, I mean, you'd be hard pressed to get your hands on this book for anywhere less than eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. It feels like every copy I see going up for sale is a five-figure book, and who knows when we get X-Men into the MCU, and we're going to get X-Men into the MCU, and I can't imagine them doing X-Men without Scott Summer Cyclops. When we get that, this book is absolutely going to explode. All right, let's go on now to my next book here. My next book is very cool. And this is X-Men 39 from 1967, written by Roy Thomas and drawn by George Tuska. Now, this is a very, very cool book. There are a couple things that are, make this book significant here. Number one, this is the first appearance of the new costumes of the X-Men. Now, X-Men have had many different costume designs over the course of the years. Uh, you know, they had the vintage one in X-Men number one. They've had some of the more modernized one. They had the ones with the animated cartoon. But this one right here, this is one of the classic X-Men comic books costume designs, in my personal opinion, that classic blue with the yellow trim, as opposed to like the original costume, which was more of like a yellow with a blue trim. But this one right here to me is the most sort of iconic comic book version of Cyclops, in my humble opinion. So for that reason, this is one of the reasons that I think that this book is really, really outstanding as a collector item, not only just for X-Men, but specifically that of Cyclops. Not only that, this is also considered the start of the origin of Cyclops. Now, Cyclops' origin would actually span for uh, multiple comic books uh, in this current area of the X-Men comic book story run, but this would be the first one that would start it off. So for that reason, this is considered like the first book of the origin of Cyclops. And I feel like if you want to get your hands on a great 
Cyclops book. If you're fans of this character, you got to get your hands on the origin one. And this book right here is a very cool one for that reason. And I got to say, just aesthetically, this is such a great cover. I mean, very, very classic to me. I love the heroic pose of the whole X-Men team. And then you see Cyclops right there, front and center, prominent, very much the leader of the group. And for that reason, I think that this book is an awesome book to have. And as we dig into the numbers here, we'll see there is a 9.8 on the census. Last sale back in July of 2012, sold for 82.50 fair market value. Uh, who knows what that would go around today, probably pushing the five figure range. And then here at the bottom, Go Collect's not gonna have this slab too often. But generally speaking, this is a book that I do tend to find on eBay, sometimes at good deals. I mean, a lot of times it's pushing that $100 range, $150 range at the low grade. But you know, every now and then, if you see a live auction, you can maybe snipe a deal for this book, 20, 30, 40, $50, because not a lot of people always looking for this one, but it is a classic book in my opinion. All right, let's go on now to the next pick here. The next pick is where I start to cheat a little bit here because I have three picks for my next pick. And this one includes X-Men number 136, X-Men number 137, X-Men number 138 as well. This is all from 1990. And of course, this is written by the dynamic duo of Chris Claremont and drawn by John Byrne. Now, what is the significance of this? Well, this of course is the sort of the end of the Dark Phoenix storyline. And why do I specifically name this book right here, number 136? Well, to me, this is one of the most classic covers, I think, in all of the X-Men books. Certainly one of the most classic covers with Cyclops and one that I think would be paid homage to many, many, many times. I mean, we recently had the death of Scarlet Witch and they paid homage to this specific pose right here and this specific cover. And we all know that, you know, in Cyclops' storyline, you know, the, the love interest with him being, you know, married to Jean Grey and in love with Jean Grey. I mean, I feel like that is just so, you know, iconic to his storyline that you got to talk about this cover because of the relationship and the dynamic and how heartbroken he was over the death of Phoenix. Now, I have to talk about the other books too, because incidentally, this isn't actually the book that has the death of Phoenix. In fact, the death of Phoenix is actually the next book right here. That's X-Men 137. So I got to pair these two together, even though I feel like 136 is the more sort of classic cover. This is still a classic cover as well, but uh, this one is the part where it actually has the death of Phoenix. So I feel like that's important to mention. And then right here, number 138, uh, you know, Cyclops leaves the team. He's so heartbroken over it. So I kind of feel like these are sort of a trifecta together. So I feel like, you know, if you're a fan of Cyclops, you want to get any one of these covers, you can't go wrong. But let's take a look at the 136 here. Let's dig into the numbers here. You'll see that there is 9.8s selling fair market value around the $300 range. You can see there's a lot of sales here. June, July, June, July, 2021. Similar here also, if you look at this, there's a lot of sales here, July, July, July. And then also too, there's a lot of sales here, uh, July, 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 21. And that's because everybody wants to get their hands on this run of X-Men, the John Byrne, Chris Claremont era. And you know, this is a book that uh, depending on the grade can, can command a premium, but there are still good, good deals out there. You know, I see this book going for the 30, 40, $50 range from time to time. All right, let's go on now to my fourth pick here. My fourth pick is actually gonna be Marvel Comics Presents number 17 from 1989, written by Bob Harris and drawn by Ron Lim. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually the first time that you will see Cyclops right there in the title, Marvel Comics Presents Cyclops. Of course, Marvel Comics Presents would be an ensemble storyline book. They would have many characters. They would start off with Wolverine. He would go on to do his run. And then they have a lot of individual storylines for these X-Men characters. They'd have one here with Colossus, as you can see there at the bottom the cover. They'd have one with Havoc. They'd have some with Nightcrawler. And in this one right here, number 17, they'd have a solo story featuring Cyclops. So this right here, I consider Cyclops' first solo story. Of course, Cyclops is the leader of the X-Men. So he's got a lot of books that are about him being on an ensemble team, leading the X-Men here. I mean, the cover's pretty cool. He looks very, very heroic. So for that reason, I feel like this is a great book to have if you are fans of the Cyclops character. And as we dig into the numbers here, you will not see this book a slab too often. In fact, this is going to be a book that you can often find in dollar bins. So one that I think is really, really cool if you want to pick up something for cheap and you are a fan of the Cyclops character. All right, let's go on now to my last book here. My last book is actually going to be Cyclops number one from 2001, written by Brian K. Vaughn and drawn by Mark Teixeira. And what is the significance of this? Well, I'm sure you can guess it. This is the first titled comic book that is just Cyclops. This is Cyclops number one. Now, this is a limited series, one of four, but very, very cool. Nonetheless, this is the first solo series that Cyclops would have for himself. A very under the radar book. I mean, it's very cool that Brian K. Vaughn, of course, famously who wrote Saga and Paper Girls, uh, wrote this book right here in 2001. But this, of course, was around the time, you know, in Marvel comic books uh, when they weren't doing so hot. And not a lot of these comic books that came from this time are that popular or that known. So this one right here, I think is pretty cool 
being that this is the first time you see Cyclops just alone in his own limited series. And for that reason, with these key comic spotlight videos, I like to highlight books like this. And I think that this one is pretty cool. I mean, definitely has a unique sort of art style to it, a little more film noir, definitely a new character design for Cyclops. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool book and a pretty cool one to have. And one that you can get for very, very cheap. Again, this is another book that you will not see slab too often here, no sales record here on Go Collect, but one that you can find easily on eBay, you know, under the $10 range, maybe for $5, uh, probably a book that you can find in LCSs for a dollar or so. Well, that is all I have for this video. Those are my five picks for key comics for the Cyclops character. Cyclops, an amazing character, one that I can't wait to see uh, done in the MCU. And I feel like, you know, over the last couple of years, because of the Fox movies, Cyclops has been a character that's not really been done right. He's been kind of memed on overall. And I feel like his popularity as an X-Men has really, really plummeted as a result. I mean, he was so many times the butt end of the joke for, you know, the, the Wolverine quip uh, in those Fox movies. And I feel like Cyclops is a very interesting character. He has to deal Deal with the pressure of leading the team. He always has that on his shoulder. And, and there's a lot of like, like anxiety that he often feels. I feel like he always has to live up to, you know, uh, the Captain America ideal, but he's just not Captain America. He's thrust into this leadership role and, uh, you know, he's, but he's human and he has, he has to struggle with that. So I think that there's a lot of interesting stories that could be told as a result of that. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have any of these books? Do you guys have other books that you think are great comic books for the Cyclops character? Let me know in the comments. Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I will see you in the next video.